Thank you for joining us tonight for the final Mountaineer Football Tonight Coaches Show. And we come to you tonight, kind of virtual presentation. Excited that you're with us. It's going to be a big show, a lot of individuals we've asked to be on. And so I'm excited about tonight's show. Uh, we're going to be joined tonight by Coach Kevin Cruz, the offensive coordinator for the Mountaineers. We're also going to be joined by Drew Fulton and Lamont Littlejohn, who were the voices for the Mountaineer football uh, I guess broadcast that was on the YouTube uh, channel throughout the season for the games. And then we will wrap up tonight's show with an interview with Coach Greg Lloyd as he gives his thoughts on this past season and also looking forward ahead to this fall season. Uh, the last thing uh, to keep you tuned in, we will show is a highlight video uh, for the season, the successful spring season uh, that we had. So thank you for joining us. We'll be back in a few moments with Coach uh, Kevin Cruz. Welcome back to the final coaches show for the 2021 spring season. Kind of crazy to say 2021 spring season because we got a season coming back in the fall. But I am joined now with offensive coordinator Kevin Cruz. Kevin, how are you doing today? Doing great. We're glad to have you. And as we were talking before we started filming, it's been a busy, that's probably a very big understatement for you. It's been a very busy spring because many don't know that you also are the varsity softball coach, and uh, you have a playoff game tonight. We wish you the best in that game. And um, so we're finally we're able to get you on uh, to the show, and so glad to have you today. Glad to be here, Jeff. You froze up a little bit. I don't know. That's okay. If that <laughs> that's, that's just technology. You froze. Uh, the recording didn't, but uh, we got you back, so we'll go with it. Uh, Kevin, obviously, um, I know the season did not end as uh, the coaches and the team and the players, and I'm sure the fans wanted. But can I just say congratulations on a very successful season? Thank you so much, Jeff. You know, and, and in the end, you know, this is a little, little bit of coach speak, but there's really only one happy team in the end when you're talking about high school football. And, and so we are disappointed. Uh, but – you know, for, for the fans and the players and uh, all the rest of the coaches. I mean, we're just certainly so proud of, of, of all the effort that the boys put in and, and just just a spectacular run that we've been on here for the past four to five years here at Kings Mountain High School. You know, I mean, you, you look at it and, and there's not a program around that's, that's been as successful as us. Well, I, I agree with you. It's been a phenomenal um, last few seasons. I even think this season, uh, considering as we've talked a lot on the show, considering all the uh, the upheaval of the last year of prepping in the summer, not playing in the fall, uh, off-season workouts, starting, mixing with other sports going on, um, it's amazing. I, I think you guys did a great job. So hats off to you and the rest of the coaching staff. Well, it, it's definitely, you look at all the challenges we had. I mean, really, we've been practicing football since since last, really, into, into May uh, of last year. We were we were prepping like we were going to get to play. I, you know, when school shut down, we didn't we didn't get a chance to practice. Uh, but we were able to get back out there on the field, I believe, the first week of June uh, and in the weight room, lifting weights. Actually, we weren't even in the weight room. We lifted weights outside, uh, because of all the COVID precautions. Um, but, but all the challenges these kids had to go through, are we going to play? Or are we going to play in the fall? Or are we going to have to wait to play in the spring? I mean, 
there's just a, a long list of things. Only being in school twice a week and still having to find a way to get to practice. I mean, there were so many obstacles that these boys just hit. They they, they met it head on and, and just really flourished in it and did everything we asked them to do, and that's all we can ever ask. Yeah, well, I think you did a phenomenal job, and um, I know there's a lot of time and creativity that goes into developing the offense and, and the game scheme depending on the teams that you're playing. And, uh, you know, obviously the goal was the state championship, but uh, as you said, only one team is standing there at the end out of all the teams in the state. And I think it was a, we need to look at it as still a very successful season um, as well. Well, let's, let's shift a little bit. As one yourself who was a former player at high school, collegiate level, um, can you share just a brief moment? Give us. Now I'm going to ask Coach Lloyd this as well on the show. Can you talk a little about uh, what I would like to call beyond the X's and the O's, beyond the uh, the field? What what some of the value you see from the coaching side of it for your re- building relationships with the young men and the players? Talk a little bit about beyond even the results of what goes on um, that that may perhaps people don't really think about. Well, you know, and I, I'm kind of partial to, to the offensive line play. You know, it, it's really funny. If you were to go into a, a group of athletes that were getting ready to play or maybe just starting out to play football, and you say, who wants to be a quarterback? All the hands go up. Who wants to be the running back? All the hands go up. Who wants to be a defensive lineman and sack the quarterback and make tackles? All the hands go up. Usually when you talk about you go in there and you say, who wants to be an offensive lineman? Well, what's an offensive lineman do? When, when do they get the glory? Uh, you know, so so the guys that I coach, you're not going to read about them or hear about them unless something, unless they got a penalty called on them, they've given up a sack, or there's somebody in the stands, hey, block somebody. You know, we hear that all the time. And, and, and there's just so much more that goes into it. And you talk about relationships. You know, the offensive line group is the, is, the, is the most players that are on the field together at the same time in a group. You know, there's five of us out there, and we're, we've got to be, instead of two people working together or three people working together, we got five guys that are all trying to get something accomplished, all in maybe a little different direction, but that's all got to work together for everything to, to – for the plays to come off just right. And, you know, it's just – like, like I said, I'm partial. Don't tell uh, Coach Kennedy that I was talking so good about the offensive line because he'll get me. But, um, you know, you talk about those guys that, that, that work together, don't get any recognition. We bleed, we sweat, we're, we're together, you know, a lot. And, and just the, the brotherhood that those guys develop and, and, and learn how to work together and fight with each other is it, just so rewarding for me as a coach and to see those guys grow. It's, it's just it's a treat it's a blessing to be able to get to do what we do yeah yeah i i, I think um to me i think teachers are unsung heroes in in our culture today and uh uh you know obviously you you teach at the high school as well and and from someone who worked with teenagers for a long 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 time um, a lot of to me the relationship was something that uh, even through the years, continues to be rewarding, uh, you know, for years to come. So, uh, on behalf of, uh, I guess, a fan and a friend, uh, thank you for building relationships with young men. And I know um, just as well as you could look back for a lot of a lot of men who poured into you when you were young. Yeah. I know I could say the same thing. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. Um, I think it, beyond the X's and the O's, and a very successful season this year. Um, as we prepare pretty soon for another season this fall, um, what value, uh, incredible value that you bring, you and other coaches, to these young men. So thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you, Jeff. It's, it, like I said, it, I mean, uh, a wise man once told me, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And I really love what I do. I love working with these boys and these these kids, and especially, you know, in a place that's got such great community support and following. And, and I mean, it's just truly a blessing to be here in Kings Mountain and be a football coach here and a softball coach here. Well, that's good. Well, as we wrap up our time with you, thank you for being on uh, the final coaches show. This is 
Uh, it's been it's been neat for me to be a part of this uh, this this spring. And um, is there is, you know for those that are watching who are Mountaineer fans from the local community or beyond, is there anything any word uh, that you'd like to to offer to them as we close? Well, just just again, thank you so much for for the support and 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 allowing us to do the job that we do. And, and uh, you know, I can't speak enough about how how great it is to be a, a coach here at Kings Mountain with a community that's invested in it. You know, you talk about our touchdown club, you talk about the fans that show up at the games, the fans that watch this show and the games on YouTube. Uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing to me coming from a, from a guy who played football in the state of Georgia, high school football in the state of Georgia, you know, th this is this is this brings me back about as close as it could be when I was in high school. Just the support and, and, and seeing everybody come out and support us is just really great. Well, thanks for being on, and we look forward to uh, hearing and best of luck to you today at the game, playoff game. And uh, I know you're pouring into a different group of, of players, some young ladies. And uh, I've been picked on a lot for that. Uh, you know, some of my football boys say, Coach Cruz, you wouldn't be like that to us. But, uh, and I, I, I catch it. I do want to thank one more person. I want to thank uh, my wife. You know, you talked about coaching two sports at one time. Uh, and my, and my, my children, Hunter, Avery, and Georgia, my wife, Jill. I mean, what, what you want to talk about working, Jill has put in some work this spring with me coaching two sports. And, I, I just really want to thank her and, and, you know, I'm just, you talk about blessed, that's blessed with a coach's wife. So she's, she's done a great job and my kids have done a great job, but we're going to go out there and, uh, and try to win a softball game tonight and uh, we'll see you soon. That sounds good. Gentlemen, did you see what, uh, what coach Cruz did right there? Smart man, giving a shout out to, uh, to uh, his wife that's very smart uh well listen uh good luck to you and we look forward to not too distant future you guys starting to prepare for the fall uh the fall football season thanks for, thanks for being on thanks jeff enjoyed it Welcome back to the final coaches show for the spring 2021 uh, football season. We are now postseason. It's the end of the seasons afterward. And uh, I wanted to have on some special guests to the show. Uh, one, Drew Fulton and Lamont Littlejohn. They are the main voices. If any of you have tuned in throughout this past season to the broadcast on YouTube uh, you've heard these guys, their voices, and I wanted to to, to bring them on to, to uh, I guess, to show their pretty faces now, to really just to bring them on and uh, just give them a chance to say hello, and also for me personally to thank them. So, guys, welcome. Welcome to the show today. Thank, thank you, Drew. Drew well, it's good to see you, man. I hadn't seen you. I missed seeing you, see you last Friday. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but, again, Jeff, thank you again for allowing us to be on the show, man. Yep, yep, Lamont. Thank you for giving me the updates last Friday night, <laughs> as uh, as the other game was going on, the game which we will not talk about. But uh, anyway, it is good. And let me just say to both of you, I, I thought both of you did a phenomenal job this season. And I know the last couple games, uh, Craig Short, who's not here with us today, was able to join the show. I thought that was great. I enjoyed just the the joy of uh I'm honored to be on the sidelines a little bit but but you too thank you for your time this this season and i thought you did a great job with the broadcast so thank you so much well it was fun i mean i'm sure lamont would say the same thing it was fun it was challenging uh as the year went on you know it got a little bit easier and a little bit easier uh but uh um it, 
it was fun. We I had a good time anyway. Yeah, I concur with uh, with Drew. I uh, had a great time. Um, just just great for the opportunity. Um, of course, had had been at Kings Mountain for a couple of years, um, but to be back um, at Kings Mountain, it was it was just a joy. And, uh, and Jeff, even you being a part of that too, with uh, offering some sideline commentation, and uh, we, we we are grateful for that. But just just had a great time and uh, appreciate it, and most definitely looking forward to fall. Well, most people, um, you know, hopefully, as Drew was talking before we recorded, we, we heard a lot of positive feedback, and I did as well. And perhaps the ones that, that had negative thoughts just didn't share with us. But we look forward to the potential. I know we're going to roundtable in a few weeks as, as a leadership group and work on uh, what's going to come this next fall season. So thank you both. I know what people don't realize is that a lot of work goes in to the prep, Um in just a moment, um, I wanted to you know, give a shout out to the technical help behind the scenes. But the two of you, I know, uh, particularly, especially Drew, put a lot of uh, time and effort, both you guys, into the prep for each game. So job well done, uh, gentlemen, to you both. And I thought it really added a lot to the football season. Uh, yeah, it was a joy. It was a joy, most definitely. And uh, just to be there to call the game and – uh, at first, we thought we was not going to have many people in the stands, but, um, you know, just grateful that uh, the restrictions were lifted and and the fans was able to come out. I think it was big for especially the senior parents. Um, I know those seniors, we had a lot of seniors this year for their parents to be able to see them, uh, especially everything that has, we had to go through in COVID. And I just want to applaud, you know, those those coaches and and players i mean it wasn't easy you know you 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 start practicing you stop you start you stop but i was just grateful that those guys got an opportunity uh to to play uh we of course everyone wished that it would have ended uh this weekend uh at, at the state championship but uh, i think we have a bright future even with our young people remember drew i'm talking about them sophomores so um you know I, I hopefully you know we'll lick our wounds and uh and get back up and get ready for the summer, of course, this fall. Well, what what really got me over the season is the amount of response that we had from uh, uh, from either grandchildren or the 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 older folks that have not been able to see a Mountaineer game in, in years were finally able to tune in and tune in easily and and see commentators that. Uh, at least knew Kings Mountain and, you know, were passionate about Kings Mountain. And uh, it was great to hear from those people. Yeah. Well, I look forward to the things to come. And, and I agree with, with you, Lamont. Uh, I know there's a certain certain young man, number 12, is looking forward to the, the off-season workouts. And uh, yeah. uh, speaking of your son, I'm going to be vying for – uh, the QB one position, I know this fall, but I'm excited for the fall season, and I agree. You know, obviously we're disappointed, um, and but but it was a very successful season. Even what a lot of people don't know beyond the X's and the O's, a lot of good things came from this season. So we look forward to to the to the next few years of Mountaineer football. Thank you both. I do want to give a shout out to uh, if if there was. I guess one person that really put a lot, well, a few people that put a lot of time and effort behind the scenes. And as Drew mentioned, as the season went on, we worked out a lot of the technical problems. That was Greg Scholl. Greg Scholl and uh, Henry Gilmore both put a a lot of time in getting us uh, the telecaster, I forget what you called it, but our computer that helped run the show. Telemaster until it became... There you Until go. It mastered it, then it became the, the, the original name, Telecast. That's right. But Phil and Joel and some guys, the camera guys, Brandon ended up joining us late in the season. We had a lot of guys that helped us behind the scenes, and we certainly give them um, a big thank you for their time. So, guys, any final words? Uh, this is the last coach's show. Any final words you have to to our Mountaineer fans out there? I mean, it, it, was, it was fun ride. I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I know Lamont did. Uh, I think, you know, we're, we're ultimately disappointed, you know, not to be playing this weekend. But, you know, once you have a week or two to calm down and, and think about it, we had, we had a great season. I mean, we won the conference championship. Um, uh, uh, there's countless uh, 
uh, the seniors that that are going to go on and play college ball, some of them may not have had a shot if we hadn't had this season at all. Uh, so well, the records were broken. In the short season we had, you know, we had some school records broken. So it, it, it was a great season. Yeah, I just want to say the Mountaineer Nation, again, uh, it's been a blast. I just hope and pray that we can continue this in the fall. Um, I think Drew said something very key about uh, the grandkids or the grandparents who cannot make a game. I think that once the restrictions are lifted, people who, going to, who can get a ticket and can get to that game, they're coming to the game. But there's so many households that will not be able to make it to the game. Uh, that that wants to see the game. So I hope that we can continue this and that we talk about it in our round table discussion. But Mountaineer Nation always showed up. They've been great. Uh, the online participation was wonderful. I think we averaged maybe six to eight hundred viewers uh, each time. And of course, when you go back and look at the views, it's over well over a million. So um, was just able, just glad glad to be able to serve beside um, Drew. He taught me everything. I want to give him credit now. Uh, so just grateful for just the friendship partnership and, uh, looking forward to uh, the fall season. Well, that's good. Well, I know that, uh, you're right. We want, we want to continue as the fall comes and in the future, we want to fill the stands and pack the stands. And I think we can, I think we will at the same time. I think this is a great, it's great for you guys to be able to offer, uh, the YouTube broadcast, uh, going forward. We'll close out. Thank you guys for being on the show. We'll close out this by Drew. Uh, what people don't realize is that Drew Fulton, every coach's show this year, was the one behind the scenes uh, helping push the button. So, Drew, thank you for your effort. And if you go back and look on the last show, folks, you'll see it. <laughs> Drew made a little cameo appearance <laughs> where he was uh, he was showing himself to the, to the world, uh, the World Wide Web. But, uh, Drew, thank you for your time that uh, with each week with Coach Lloyd and our coach's show. You know what most people don't know uh... – uh, with, with the coaches show and with the, the broadcast that we did, we had, you know, less than less than a month to try to put all this together and how we're going to do it and when we're going to do it and, you know, who's going to do it. And I think, you know, for, for the short time we had to prepare, we did a pretty good job uh, with the coaches show and with the, the streaming broadcast. And uh, it, was, it was beginning of May. So we got till August. So just think of what we can do with the extra time. So, uh, yep. Well, the future is bright. Right. And Jeff, uh, we'd be remiss if we don't thank our sponsors, uh, especially, you know, even our touchdown club and and those guys with uh, David Marie Brinkley, um, the special sponsors. Um, Y'all was, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this. So I I know we want to make sure we do that. We try to do every time, make sure they know it, uh, especially with the, I think the, the, the heart uh, and touching part was the uh, Brent Bagwell show, halftime show. So hope with those families, and we lost a lot of people, you know, some people throughout the year. And uh, we, we want to make sure Drew and I would talk every week and say, hey, we, we got to make sure we, we dedicate this show to this this person, you know, whether it was Coach Ash or um, um, the wife of um, his, his, his name is failing me now. Yeah, the guy. Gary Smart. Uh, Gary Smart, yes. Um, you know, anything that we could do when people help lost loved ones and and that lets you know the true community community is all about, you know, it's games and that type of thing, but we do have a heart for people when they it's been rough for a lot of people and then lose your loved ones during the season. So just let people know, hey, that's what that's what the show is about. It's about community. Uh it's about thinking about one another. But again, it's all about, you know, Mountaineer football. So again, just really? grateful for the sponsorships. I agree. I agree. This community really, um, it's more than just what goes on the field. It's its community coming together, and uh, you're right. And we will end this show tonight uh, thanking once again each sponsors for the coaches show. But you're right, as you saw in the broadcast, a lot of a lot of people um, gave towards, uh, towards this show. So thank you. Guys, thank you for being on, and uh, we look forward to the fall season. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, Lamont. Well, thank you, brother.
We are in the final coaches show for Mountaineer football tonight this season, and I want to welcome head coach of the Mountaineers, Greg Lloyd. Greg, thank you for being on the show. Glad to be with you, Jeff. Can I just say that it's been a joy this season being with you every Monday night, and uh, so uh, so glad to have had the opportunity to do that um, this spring season with you. That goes for me too. It's fun. Uh, appreciate all the hard work you put in, and uh, uh, Drew and Lamont. It's just been a it's been an exciting season, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Well, glad to have you and coach. Um, the last Mountaineer football tonight's show for the season, and of course. As many of us know, you're about to pick back up in the off-season with football activities and off-season lifting and got a fall season coming up. Uh, can I say congratulations on a successful season? It was a great, great season. It was. It was, uh, it was tons of fun. We had a, we had a great year. Uh, won the conference, won the county, uh, won another playoff game. Uh, you know, it was just a phenomenal year and uh, just, just really uh, – Kudos to our players for their effort and uh, hard work since last July just to get to play this season. And also our coaches, just phenomenal Jeff, uh, effort by those guys. And, of course, the Kings Mountain faithful, they came out strong this year for us in the spring. And the uh, players and the coaches appreciate that so much. And, of course, Kings Mountain Touchdown Club, we would not be where we are today without those guys, without David and Marie Brinkley. Uh, I had some stats I'll share with you later. Uh, they're pretty interesting. Uh, they kind of a, a plot of them, and uh, you know I look forward to talking about them a little bit later. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, let's talk about um, this season a little bit, Coach. Obviously, um, there's probably none more disappointed. I know every every coach, every leader is going to be shooting for the prize. Uh, but as as Coach Cruz shared earlier in the show. There's only one team that can hold up that trophy, but uh, you still don't want to overlook the success that you guys had. I think you had a great season, and I think you, you and your coaching staff did a phenomenal job. Yeah, you you can't uh, you can't measure it all by winning the last game. You, everybody wants we want to do that. We wanted to be the last team, and uh, but lots of games were made this year, you know, and uh, we overcame a lot, overcame a lot of injuries, and and even in our final game there, it was it was. Uh, it was difficult. I mean, we were we had uh, we had suffered more injuries really in the spring this year than we have in any fall that I can remember, and uh, so really uh, we had some guys step up big time and uh, just did a great job. And of course, we're going to take uh, you know uh, our season and be happy with it. And uh, you know, eight and one record and conference champs, just just a great job. And uh, it's kind of build on what we've been doing. We've had seven really strong years in a row. And, uh, you know, it's just phenomenal kids. And just it's just been a lot of fun. Well, uh, congratulations. I think you and your staff do a great job. And so many people, uh, we, we, we would take up a lot of time, I know, to thank every single person uh, that are out front, that are behind the scenes and everywhere in between. Coach, one of the things that I asked Coach Lloyd about, I mean, uh, Kevin Cruz about, was what I considered beyond the X's and the O's. Uh, I think from a fan's perspective, those in the stands or watching the games online, they see what happens just in a couple hours on Friday nights. But there's so much more that, that goes into coaching, so much more that, that you do what you do as a coach. Uh, the relationships you form with the other coaches as well as the players that impact really for years to come. Can you speak for just a few minutes about uh, as a coach, as a leader, as a teacher of young men, uh, the impact beyond the X's and the O's? Yeah. I mean, that's really, it's what you remember, you know, you, 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 games come and go, but the relationships last and the, and the good times and the tough times, they're all part of growing up and, uh, maturing and uh, as far as the players are concerned and, and coaches as well and uh, just the camaraderie you build with you uh, with all the coaches and then of course the players and it's all about relationships and everybody says that but it really is that's what you remember that's what's fun about it just day in uh, day out interaction with the players uh, getting to know them more on a personal level and uh, you know we have a lot of fun and uh, 
Uh, football's a grind for sure. So uh, if we don't have fun, it would be it would be awful. So uh, that practice can be rough, and uh, our kids have embraced it. Uh, they love coming to work and uh, working with uh, uh, the coaches, and of course, coaches working together. It's just been fun, and and uh, you know, like you said, there's a lot more to it than just what plays are being called and what schemes you're running. There's a whole lot more to uh, that goes into a football program, and uh, like our our players are second to none as far as you know coming to work and. Uh, working together and uh, building lifelong bonds. And, you know, I just, like I said, I just couldn't be more proud of the Kings Mountain football program where it is today. And I'll just go ahead and say what I'd uh, <clears throat> go and go ahead and brag on the Kings Mountain touchdown club. I know I told uh, David Brinkley several times, uh, you know, we got in the uh, field house in 2014 for the 2014 season and we're 72 and 20 since we've gotten in there. I mean, it's just really a phenomenal record for seven years. We've averaged over 10 wins a year. Even in this year here, we just had a few games. We're still averaging over 10 wins a year since 2014. A uh, couple of outright conference championships, three trips to the Western final. I mean, it's numerous playoff wins. We have a winning record within the county. Uh, it's just been uh, It's just been a group effort. And like I said, the players and the assistant coaches deserve all the credit. But really at the core of all that, it's Kings Mountain Touchdown Club and, and what they've done for the uh, program here and the school in general. And I'm asking anybody that's, that's out there that, that, you know, that wants to, you know, maybe put some, of the, uh, put some money towards something good that really helps in your community. I don't think anything's better than putting it to the Kings Mountain Touchdown Club. I, I think it's been proven that the money is, is put to good use and uh, it goes straight to the players, straight to the school, and it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's just been phenomenal. Well, I think, I think we would be blind if we didn't see the tangible evidence of what you just said. I think the Touchdown Club and – Dave and Marie Brinkley have done an incredible job um, with that organization and so many others involved with the Touchdown Club. But, I mean, I think uh, for a small town high school, uh, we have got facilities that rival, I think, some many small colleges. And, no question. And no for, question. for you involved in, in the athletic program and the football team, uh, what, a, what a benefit benefit to you as a coach? Huge, huge. And, uh, like I said, we have excellent players with – fantastic talent but you know it's it's a it's a whole community it's a whole group if you want your football program to be really strong and your athletic program to be strong you there's just so much that goes into it and, and king's mountain has, has has figured it out and they know what they're doing and uh, i'm just i'm just happy to have been a part of it well coach let's take let's take the last couple minutes and do this let's let's look back on this year but let's spend just a few moments looking ahead to the fall which believe it or not it's coming coming quickly uh can i just say that um, i think it's really kind of a miraculous what you guys had to go through um, you've said it on this show before coach cruz a lot of uh, I mean, uh, uh, spoke about it as well but you had an off season that i think in many ways you'd like to forget isn't that true Sure, sure. I mean, it was it was a rough one, and uh, and it seemed to last forever, you know. And uh, like I said, the players had to endure a lot. The coaches too. Just as far as we started in July, hmm. so in July, August, September, October, November, December, January, just to get to February to get to play some games. So, you know, and we're not the only. We're obviously not the only school, but uh, everybody was in it. So, you know, congratulations to all teams that, that, that it came through it and got to play but yeah here it was a grind and obviously we want uh, to get back to playing in the fall and we'll get back on that regular schedule here pretty quick well take just a brief moment can you say a word to our to your seniors uh, i know there were especially some players that could have had the opportunity probably to graduate early to move on i can think of a couple names but can you say just a brief word to your seniors and, and what they meant to your team this spring well it's one of the best classes we've had you know it's you know i've been here 14 years and i've had some great ones <clears throat> no i'm not slotting any ones in the past they've done a great job 
and uh, I'm blessed to have had them all. But this this year's senior group, just based on what they had to go through, and there was a lot of them too. So I mean, they just kind of stuck together. They've had a lot of success on and off the field here. Uh, just the leadership they gave us was second to none. And you know, you, I'm sure you're referring to you know Day Day. He he could have left early, and Javari could have left early. But you know, they wanted to stay and play their senior year, and uh, we were fortunate that they were able to, and, of course, they played really well. And, uh, you know, just it was just a, it was a phenomenal group, and uh, they led us to the end for sure, and uh, I'm proud of them. Well, to all the senior players, we want to offer our, our gratitude as fans and coaches. Uh, their commitment um, showed on the field and, and even beyond it. So job well done to those of you graduating seniors, and uh, thank you for, uh, for your commitment to the program. Well, Coach, uh, let's wrap it up. Um, uh, speak just a, a brief word to uh, to us fans about um, what to expect coming this fall. What's the outlook for us this fall? Well, Kings Mountain football is on, on good footing. We will be extremely young next year. We'll be playing a lot of sophomores and juniors. The senior class is small, whereas this year it was a larger group, and this next year will be a smaller group. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But – a lot of excellent talent coming back, a lot of hardworking kids coming back, you know, guys that we just love working with and, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're mountaineers and uh, they're going to come, they're going to come to work every day. The schedule, uh, you know, starts August 20th. We start with Shelby this year. Our, our three non-conference games are Shelby, Asheville and Burns. And then the league, you know, we've added uh, South Point, which that gives us our seven conference games. So, the schedule will be tough, and uh, uh, like I said, we'll be younger, so it'll it'll be we'll have to we'll have to dig in and fight and uh, and uh, really work hard in the preseason to get ready. But we got the players that can, you know that'll that'll be eager for that challenge, and we and we got coaches here that uh, love those kids and love working them, and they're competitive as well. So, and we got the great community behind us. So I know the stands will be packed every Friday, but. Uh, August will be here soon, and uh, this summer will be a lot of weightlifting, seven on seven, a lot of skill development, and just trying to get ready for the year. But, uh, you know, one that all of us are looking forward to. Wonderful. We look forward with great anticipation and excitement to, uh, to the fall season. And as we wrap up, Coach, uh, thank you for, uh, for allowing me to be part of uh, the Coaches Show this season, to be there with you each week. And uh, thank you for the job that you do, really mentoring um, your coaches, but all, all the players and the young men. And uh, as one who worked with teenagers for years and years, thank you for your for your, your time pouring into these young men. Well, that was kind to say, Jeff, but, boy, I'm the one that's, uh, that's benefited. And uh, I'm just looking forward, to, you know, uh, for a good summer. And, uh, and thank you, and I enjoyed being with you. And everybody and y'all did a great job, and uh, hopefully we can do it again. Okay, take care. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Jeff.
a great way to wrap up the season with the final Mountaineer football tonight coaches show. Thank you for joining us. And as we wrap up, as you've seen the videos throughout this episode, thank you to all the individuals that went into making uh, this a great uh, season for our coaches uh, football show. I do want to specifically name the sponsors that we're so grateful for so that we were able to, to do this and offer this to you. Uh, Battleground Business Alliance, Long Branch Land and Water, H.B. Jones Appraisals, Patriot Jacks Outfitters, John Gamble's Carolina Golf Manufacturing. Thank you to those sponsors. And as you heard throughout the show, thank you to uh, David and Marie Brinkley and the Kings Mountain Touchdown Club uh, and all the sponsors that gave uh, towards the broadcast that went on for the weekly games on Friday nights. Uh, thank you. It's been a great season. Thanks for being with us for joining us throughout this past spring season. We look forward to you joining us uh, back later this summer and into the fall season. Until the next time, take care.